And there have been things happening, but I don't know if people are waking up to it. There have been incidents that have already occurred. Mm -hmm. uh, just last year, on the uh, 27th of October, uh, three days before Halloween, uh, the Knights Templar, they're a, a terrorist drug cartel down in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, they blacked out a whole province in Mexico, put nearly half a million people into the dark so they could go into the towns and villages, drag the leaders out into the public square, publicly execute them to uh, eliminate oh people opposed to the drug trade. Now, if Neanderthals like the Knights Templars, you know, have figured out that the electric grid is a major societal vulnerability, you know, you know what have uh, uh, ISIS, ISIS and right. Al-Qaeda and uh, Iran, North mm -hmm. Korea, Russia, and China got planned for us because mm -hmm. they all recognize that vulnerability too. And they're working on a, call it a new form of lightning war, blitzkrieg, mm -hmm. that combines the use of cyber attack, physical sabotage, and yes, nuclear EMP attack, all at once, you know, to attack the civilian critical infrastructures, not the military, but the civilian critical infrastructures, the electric grid that supports everything, hoping that it would have the decisive effects that the Blit Nazi Blitzkrieg did, mm -hmm. except this time the bad guys could prevail. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are just so asleep to that. Even though it happened, that, that still incident still has not been, happened, uh, been widely reported in the media. And in fact, ironically, October 27th, it happened in the morning of October 27th. Mm -hmm. That evening, uh, National Geographic ran a documentary called uh, uh, American Blackout that speculated it was based on the idea that terrorists might black out the American electric grid and cause something like this. And the next day, the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, which is the, it represents the 3,000 electric utilities, the responsibility for the security of the American grid, you know, started complaining about the National Geographic documentary and saying, oh, this is unrealistic, it could never happen. So unprepared are they that they weren't even aware that the very morning that that uh, wow. the, 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 the thing filmed, uh, it had actually had happened in real life just down in Mexico. And then on the 9th of June of this year, not that long ago, just a few weeks ago, the, uh, the uh, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula blacked out the whole country of Yemen. It's the first time in history that a terrorist attack has blacked out an entire nation. And Al-Qaeda Al and ISIS, even though they're rivals, they, all, they are still terrorist groups with the same ideology. They're working together. You know, if Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Pen Peninsula has done it, you can be sure ISIS is thinking about doing mm -hmm. it. Uh, over the Labor Day weekend, you know, we know that there has been chatter and ISIS has been talking to Mexican gangs and, and criminal organizations down in Mexico about crossing our undefended border and mm -hmm. coming here and doing something in the United States. Right. All they have to do is, is call up the Knights Templars, wire them five or ten million, and uh, they could come across here and black out Arizona and New Mexico. You know, they could black out New York, Minnesota. If they, uh, uh, if they read the U.S. Federal Energy Regulatory Commission report that was published last year, which I'm sure they have, mm -hmm. uh, they could black out the whole country for weeks or months just by attacking nine key transformer substations with rocket-propelled grenade launchers. And do you think something could happen potentially this 9-11? It could. It could be organized very quickly. I think the administration is wrong to think that it would take uh, uh, a couple of years for uh, the uh, for the uh, uh, ISIS to uh, to organize a 9/11 scale attack. And they have a they have two compelling interests in doing it too, and to, uh, in doing it quickly. First, even though ISIS has uh, eclipsed the accomplishments of Al Qaeda in the Middle East, you know, they still have not beaten Al Qaeda its record in mm -hmm. terms of 9/11. Because Al-Qaeda pulled off 9-11 in the world of terrorism, Al-Qaeda is still the top dog. So they okay? won't get to They that need level. a spectacular blow against America to mm. displace Al-Qaeda there, too, in, in international terrorism. Uh, this is what, why would they want to do that? Because this is what attracts money. This is what attracts followers. This gives them influence among the nations mm -hmm. that, uh, that support international terrorism. Uh, and there's a second compelling reason. It's their ideology. ISIS and Al-Qaeda both believe and radical jihad, that we're in the end time, uh, you know, that this is the time when, uh, 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 for the triumph of, of Islam mm -hmm. worldwide, you know, uh, which is the precondition, you know, for, uh, for, the, for the end time and basically the triumph of the whole scheme. Uh, and the, uh, the uh, proof of this, the proof that, uh, that this is the end time and that they are on the right side of history, ISIS and Al-Qaeda, is their victories. 
It's proven by battlefield victories. Uh, ISIS is being, uh, 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 its, its victories in, in Iraq, for example, are interpreted as, oh, God is on their side. Mm -hmm. And this, even more than the publicity, is, is the conviction, the, the ideological conviction that draws them money and it draws, them, uh, draws support. And, and, and of course, this is what ISIS and, uh, is all about. Mm -hmm. This is the fundamental bl uh, belief system that they have, and it's why they're fighting and killing all these people, because they think it's the end time and they're trying to bring that end time on. Mm -hmm. They believe they're working the will of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most spectacular thing they could do would be to take out the great Satan, okay? Uh, that would prove, in their view, definitively, that God is on their side, that they are, in fact, on the, in the end time, and that the moderate Muslims who are opposed to them mm -hmm. are on the wrong side of history. And, and the infidels, of course, would, would be... <laughs>